Hey Stitchers, I'm back and I might be wearing my nightie. Are you curious to know why? Then please keep on watching. Hey Stitchers, your girl Chris here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel on social. Am I wearing a nightie? Yes. Yes, I am. But why? Now you guys, the Sew Up Cycle 2024 challenge is going on throughout the month of October. And today just happens to be my day on the vlogging tour to share with you guys my plan for this challenge. Now I'll post all of the details here on the screen so that you can get a better idea of what the challenge is about. But in short, you're meant to grab something from your wardrobe that you're no longer wearing and then upcycle it into something that much better suits your style. Now you cannot use any new fabrics for this challenge. Like duh. It's an upcycle challenge, but you can make a garment or you can make, I think, a bag. Again, I'll have all of the information here on screen so that in case you want to enter into this challenge, then you can know exactly what you need to go ahead and do. Now, when I was trying to figure out what I might want to upcycle, this nighty came to mind almost immediately. Now, I recently enough did a closet clear out and there are two videos right here on the channel featuring both parts of that closet clear out. You guys, I just couldn't get it done in one session. I just had too much clothes. But shh, I did get rid of quite a few pieces. I put them into trash bags, but I didn't actually bin them. I donated them to the Road Track Club. They were doing a drive for hurricane relief for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, which is another Caribbean island, not too far, all things considering, from where I live here in Montserrat. So I did go ahead and donate a lot of items, but I did keep a couple of them thinking that maybe I would either mend them or upcycle them. And this was one of the pieces that I happened to make. And so when I saw this challenge come up, I was like, yep, now is the time to go ahead and upcycle this nighty. So I'll step back, hoping that you can see it. If you cannot, then I'll try to remember to film a twirl so I can put it in so you can see the entirety of this nighty. No fun fact, I got this nighty in 2015, you guys. This nighty is just about eight years old. And I say just about because at the time of filming, it is a couple of days before my daughter's eighth birthday. But what does that have to do with anything? Let me tell you. So this nighty was actually a maternity nighty. My auntie bought me this nighty when I was very, very big and pregnant with my daughter. So it is quite loose on me. Actually, you know, it's not as loose as it should be now that I'm thinking about it because I was big pregnant when I was wearing this nighty. And look at how it fits me now. I mean, what does that say about me eight years later? I'm gonna have to actually go ahead and think about that because this nighty fit me with a big old belly and now it's sort of, like there is room in it, but did this really accommodate a baby bump? Oh my gosh. Anyways, that was what this nighty was about. It was meant to be a maternity nighty. It was meant to be something that was loose and comfortable that would accommodate my baby bump. I no longer have a baby bump. Yes, thank goodness. I have had two kids and I am done. I am done. I thank God every day for them, but Jesus, if you know, you know. So anyways, I wanted to keep this nighty because it had that sort of um, special memory connected to it. And I feel like with this challenge, I am going to be motivated to turn it into something that hopefully will get some actual wear because I have not worn it in years. I haven't. No, I am not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this nighty. Um, I don't like the length on me. It's sort of like mid calf. That's an awkward length on me. I feel like it either needs to be a maxi length dress or something a lot shorter, like above the knee, because you know your girl loves showing off a little bit of leg. So I'm thinking that I might have to raise it up considerably. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. You guys cannot see. Can you see? Maybe. I feel like it needs to be at least this short. Or maybe I should turn it into a blouse. I wonder if I'll get more use out of it as a blouse. Maybe I can incorporate some shirring or something to give it a little bit more definition at the waistline. I didn't show you guys the back, did I? Isn't it cute? Like looking back at it now, it looks kind of cute. 
like this detail is quite cute and I think I actually want to keep that detail in my final make whatever it turns out to be so if I just cut this off and make this into a nice top then I can probably wear it to work it covers enough skin for me to be able to wear it to the office and it does have this peekaboo back but obviously I can go ahead and wear a jacket or blazer over it and then it would be totally fine the colors are very muted and so very office appropriate but I need to think about it a little bit more so your best bet is to keep on watching so that you can see how I went ahead and upcycled my maternity night hey lovies so it is friday the 25th of october and you're watching this video on monday the 28th of october and you guys i have done absolutely nothing with my upcycle my nighty is still in its original format for a couple of reasons one because i couldn't quite figure out what i wanted to do with it Initially, I thought I would seam rip it and use the fabric to create something different. But then after I tried it on in the first section of this video, um, I quite like the neckline area and I didn't want to mess with it too much. So that is one of the reasons. The other reason is that there has just been so much going on throughout the month of October, both in terms of other sewing projects I had to do and in terms of just adulting with my children, my family, my job. Whew, it's been a lot this month. So I say that to say, I have to get the ball rolling tonight, 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 tonight. I think what I'm going to do is to add some shirring at the waistline and then decide on the length. I might make it into a shorter dress, but I think I'm more going towards um, a blouse. So it will give like a peplum sort of effect with the shirring, I'm hoping. And I feel like that will be a quick and easy enough hack for me to get it done and to have this video up for you on the due date. So if you are participating in this challenge and you have not started, you might want to go ahead and start like right now because time is quickly running out. Remember you have until I think the 31st of August, what am I saying August? The 31st of October to get your entries in. So you still have a little bit of time, but I would definitely advise you to go ahead and get started. So now that I kind of know what I want to do with my dress, I'm going to go and change my clothes, have a cup of tea, and then hopefully get started on upcycling my nightie. All right, booze, so step one is complete. I've gone ahead and put some shirring in at the waistline, right the way around it. Um, now I need to figure out the length. I'm actually kind of liking it now that I've had like I put the shirring in the length doesn't look so bad now but I still think I would like it if it was shorter so the question now is am I doing it as a dress mm -mm -mm. or am I gonna do it short 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 into a top so what do you guys think I know by the time you see this video then I would have already made a decision on it. But I'm still curious to know how you guys think I should have been approaching the length of this dress. Should I leave it as it is? Should I make it into an above the knee dress? Or should it become like a peplum kind of top? Remember, this is what the back looks like with the V-neck and the tie strap. Yeah, decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, lovies, it is Sunday and I have finally finished my upcycle. And when I say Sunday, I mean the day before Monday, which means it's the day before you're seeing this video. Now, please forgive me if you can hear the zzzz in the background. Once again, my neighbor is cutting the grass. I do not understand why it is that every time I need to film a video, something else is happening in the neighborhood to disturb it. So I really do apologize. I really hope you're not hearing it too badly, but, uh, gosh it is all just the nature of Caribbean living anyways I'm popping back in to share with you what I ended up doing for my sew up cycle challenge now the last clip you had seen I think I had shown you the shirring of my dress and I was trying to go ahead and decide on the length what do you think I went for in terms of the length do you think I did the knee length or do you think I did the blouse let me give you a few seconds to comment down below and then I will show you guys what I ended up doing so let's see what you think. 
Da na 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 Does anybody else like Jeopardy? Oh my gosh, I love Jeopardy, but I definitely miss Alex Trebek. Anyways, this is what I ended up doing. Uh uh, I decided to make it into a blouse just because I really do think like having a blouse, a peplum blouse is going to get a lot more wear in my wardrobe. I definitely feel like this is a piece that I can wear to work over um, maybe like a black pencil skirt or a navy blue skirt. I just feel like the blouse option was going to be more versatile. So I definitely feel like it's going to get a lot more wear now than it would have as the nighty, but I'm not crazy over it you guys. I like it enough that it's gonna get worn but I'm not like oh my god I love it it wasn't like a huge transformation I did as I told you earlier I think intend to um, rip out the side seams and use the fabric to create something entirely new but then I really just liked this back piece right here and I wanted to preserve it and I thought I wanted a little bit more shaping at the waist and I managed to achieve that with the shirring and then of course as a blouse as I said I feel like it's just gonna get a lot more wear. Truth be told I don't think I managed my time very well throughout the month of October. I knew I was entering this challenge and I knew I had this vlog to do but there were just so many other things that intervened throughout the month that this project just kept getting pushed back further and further and further and further and further. Now I did have a pattern test doing throughout the month of October. I will share more of that here with you on the channel at the appropriate time and I was also working on a slow project you guys. I know this is me. I decided I needed to slow my sewing down just a little bit and so I bit off a really really big project and you can see it peeking through in the um, corner of my screen. Am I going to tell you what it is? Not right now. You're going to have to come back later on, hopefully throughout the month of November. I will have an opportunity to share that project with you guys. So if you're not yet subscribed, now would be the best time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on so that you can be alerted when I post that video. I think it's a good one you guys and if you follow me on Instagram then you already know what that project is so if you like to know a little bit more of the behind the scenes action then I would definitely encourage you to head on over to my Instagram account as well it's also on social and give me a follow there I do update my Instagram stories way more frequently than I make my YouTube videos anyways back to this upcycle if you want to go ahead and enter this challenge, you have until the 31st of October to post your make. On that day, you're required to tag Becky, which I think is notes from the sewing room, and Karen, which is so little time. I'll go ahead and put their handles on the screen so that you can see, and I'll also drop them down below in the description box so you can find them quite easily. You're also expected to use the hashtag SewUpCycle2024, or is it 24? I'll go ahead and put that in the description box as well. And you have to post a before and after picture. So you need to post what your original item was and of course a picture of what you ended up transforming it into. So I think those are all the rules. If I missed any then I'll go ahead and pop them on screen again just so you guys know all of the entry requirements for this challenge. Overall, I really think this is a good challenge. It encourages us to use things in our wardrobes that are not getting worn. And with a couple clips and snips and sewing some new seams together, we can create items that we love and that are going to get a lot more wear in our wardrobes. There are just too many clothes, you guys, in our landfills. And if we can use things that we already own to upcycle them and breathe new life into them, then I'm absolutely here for it. So well done, Becky and Karen, for hosting this challenge. Now you guys, that is all I needed to share with you for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did. Drop me some comments down below and let me know what you think of my upcycle. Do you think I did a good job? Do you think I could have done something else? Would you have transformed this garment into something else? I'm curious to know what your thoughts are, so leave them down below in the comments section. Again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on, and I'll see you in the next video. So until then, stay calm, stay cool, stay safe, and absolutely keep sewing. Peace.